Hey guys, what's up? Tim here, bringing you another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm, uh, we're going to be looking at how to animate a trap code particular layer of particles um, with a light null object and a camera. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to name it Main Comp. I have it at 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, 20 seconds long, and 69 aspect ratio. Alright, so let's get started. First things first, I'm going to do Control Y, create a solid for a background layer, just a basis. Um, I'm going to create another solid and name it Trap Code Particular. Next I'm going to search for Particular and apply that effect to the solid. So now if we scrub through we have just emitting particles. Now in order for this to work we need to create a layer new camera. I'm going to use 50 millimeter preset and a new null object as well as a new light. Now this is an important step. You need to make sure that the light type is at point and you need to name the light emitter. I'm just going to put emitter 1. Um, and don't click that. That was my bad. Um, but if you do not spell it exactly correctly, emitter, it will not work. Um, so next we have all three of our layers right here. We need to first of all line up the light and the null object and we're going to uh, make sure the null object is a 3D layer. Now we're going to line them up, so P for the position, and we don't want there to be any Z, and we just kind of want to line this up in the corner of this null. So 640 for X axis, and 360 for Y, and 0 for Z. So now they are lined up. Next thing to do is to parent or pick whip the um, emitter to the null object, and then we want to pick whip the camera as well to the um, null object. That is if you want to create a camera shake. So that's what I'm going to, uh, that's what we're going to end up doing. Alright, so now that we have our particles, um, we're going to go and start to edit the settings in TrapCode Particular. So first things first, open the emitter tab and go to the emitter type and set it to lights. This will make it so that the uh, particles will follow or emit out of the light and they'll remember the light is controlled by the null object so we can animate the position of the null object in turn the light will follow it as well as the particles from trap code particular alright so first I'm going to decrease the velocity down to zero and we're going to begin to animate our null object now what you can do is you can of course go into the position alt click and type a wiggle expression wiggle, uh, let's do 350 and close parentheses and so what we have is, oh wait, let's uh, set the camera to none for the uh, parent so what we have is we have a null object uh, just running around uh, in Z space, X space, Y space um, and it's emitting particles and the particles are following the light and the light is following the null object so maybe what we'll do is we'll increase this maybe to 100. So now we've kind of just got this random movement. Let's preview it. So we've got this random particle movement. So let's go in and edit uh, the particular settings even further. So we have the velocity down to zero. We're going to um, set the emitter sizes for all of these down to zero as well. This will make it sort of a string. Um, we're going to increase the particles that will be emitted. Um, we can go down into the particle tab and maybe we will decrease the life to about 1.7. That will make it um, the strands behind it of particles shorter. Maybe we'll do 1.2 so you know we just got a little little particle um, let's set the sphere feathering a little bit up to about 72 we're going to drop the size down actually no let's go into the size over life and um, size over life we're going to give it a nice linear ramp as well as opacity over life so we have this nice looking small system of particles that just wiggles around and this has a lot of potential um, to create a lot of really cool intros and a lot of cool effects. 
and maybe we want to tint it maybe a little bit of blue color let's go into a light blue like right there and we might set the transfer mode to add alright so now we're going to go down into the physics tab it's a pretty important tab um, you can do a lot with it and what we're going to do is I'm going to increase this uh, effect size by one and usually this collapses on me when I do that and then we're going to increase the effect position now if you look closely let me zoom in here when I increase the effect position you can see that it gives it kind of a fractal field sort of feel um, the tail of the particles is sort of uh, twisted and that gives it a nice little effect for a little uh, sprite it kind of looks like I guess you could say um, so next let's maybe increase the flow in y and x a little bit just to give it some more flow and maybe the evolution speed up to 55 and you can mess around with these settings as you wish um, they're kinda hard settings to explain um, they're mainly settings that you can just play around with to get the right kinda look like trial and error um, so that's what I usually what I do alright so let's preview what we have right now alright so we've got this particle flowing around in X, Y, and Z space freely and another thing we can do is we can go into the null object and bring up the rotation and we can alt click on the X rotation and give it an expression like time times 100 and what that will do it is it will um, increase the X rotation by 100, uh, 100 pixels and you can see the as I scrub through the number will raise by 100 as you can see so if I break this into seconds you can see at the first second it's at 100 degrees at the second second it's at 200 and the third at 300 and so on and so forth so every second the degrees will go up 100 so as you can see the null object kind of spins and it just gives it kind of more of a random movement alright so I'm gonna collapse these down and maybe go back into chop code particular and we probably will duplicate the layer let's duplicate the layer and let's offset this one a little bit so we're gonna solo this layer let's just turn this bottom one off and we're gonna go down to the life Where's life there it is and decrease it to maybe 0.8 Oops. 0.7 maybe so this one's shorter we can increase the size maybe to 6 and maybe change the color to a darker blue and maybe give this one particle type a glow sphere and we'll go down into the glow and maybe we'll decrease or no we'll keep the feathering we'll decrease the size a little bit and that looks pretty good let's turn this layer back on and so what we kinda created is a, a head a brighter and bigger head of the particle system and um, another cool effect that we can add is an optical flare that kind of follows the light um, because optical flare plugin has a cool um, a cool ability to do that so let's go ahead and create a new solid and I'm gonna call this optical flare and I'm gonna search for the optical flares plugin I'm gonna drag it on there and I'm gonna go into the options and I'm gonna pick a maybe a light preset um, yeah we'll do a blue spark and I'm gonna go in here and delete these irises that we don't need um, the multi irises the caustics and then maybe we'll go in here and go down to the bottom no it's back up to the top um, maybe rest around with these settings um, alright that's, that's looking good we can increase the brightness and the scale later as well and let's just go with that I'm gonna set the transfer mode to add 
zoom back out here and as you can see in the optical flares effect controls um, there is a thing called source type right here and it's, at, it's set at 2D if you click on that and you go to track lights you will notice that the flare automatically attaches to the light and it moves around with it so that creates a pretty cool effect and maybe we will decrease the brightness a little bit like so and that's that's looking good now say we wanted to increase the amount that this particle wiggles um, I think I'm gonna go back into the null object press U to bring up all the keyframes and I'm gonna type in 3500 I'm gonna increase it by a lot alright so now that we increase the wiggle amount you can see that uh, the particles float around in a much broader range which is kinda what we're looking for so let's preview this real quick as you can see I mean it gives a pretty nice effect and that's pretty cool it's looking pretty good and as you can see the particles are slowly breaking up at the end a little bit um, we can fix that by going into uh, particular both of the layers and increasing the amount of particles that are emitted and also decreasing the life of these I might set this to 0.5 and let's set this one to uh, let's see we'll increase the particles in this as well and maybe decrease the effect position and so basically that's that's it for this tutorial um, it was just to show you guys how to use a null object and an emitter light uh, to control trap code particular particles um, it's fairly easy um, the optical flare obviously gives it a really uh, really cool look um, you can also uh, solo animate by yourself um, these particles you don't have to use a wiggle expression I mean you could always like, have them flow across the screen and you can do all kinds of stuff but that's pretty much it for this tutorial please comment for more suggestions on videos and um, maybe some tutorials or techniques in After Effects that you would like to see me cover and that's it for uh, this time guys I'll see you later thanks for watching